let's switch gears and talk about your colleague Tommy Tuberville and his ongoing military blockade. You and your colleagues, I know, sent a letter to Mitch McConnell urging him to step in here. We're talking about almost 300 military positions that are impacted right now, promotions that people are waiting on. So far, nothing has changed. What do you plan to do next in this fight? Well, first of all, let me explain why this is so reckless. Tommy Tuberville knows overall that you can't win a game. He was a coach. You can't win a game without your key players. Well, he's holding up promotions in key positions in our military across the nation because of his extreme views. Department of Defense just created a rule for the ability for women to travel for reproductive health care. So he's holding up nominations like the commander of our Warfare Center at Nellis Air Force Base. Nellis Air Force Base, the crown jewel of the Air Force, where we train every Air Force pilot, not just in America, but from around the world. We have people's lives that are on hold, their kids who need to start school, their families. And let me tell you most importantly, that our adversaries are watching. They're looking for any cracks, any vulnerability we have. And so when there's no one at the Warfare Center, to be sure, in these key positions that we're training and protecting 330 million Americans and the men and women who serve, they're gonna take advantage of us. He knows that, what he's doing is reckless. We have always promoted these folks. We need to continue to do that. And I shudder to think the safety and security that he's putting at risk the longer that this goes on. Senator Tuberville is doing this over uh, an abortion policy from the Department of Defense that pays for women to get health care in other states, including abortions. Here's what it Tuberville doesn't pay for women to get CNN. abortion. It doesn't pay for women to get an abortion. It allows the women the right to travel to get the reproductive health care they need. It does not pay for that health care. It allows them to travel. These men and women, and our women who serve proudly in the military, they get deployed away from their families, away from their friends, in places wherever they need to go, wherever they need to serve. And if those places don't allow them to get the care they need, they deserve the right to go somewhere and get that care. And that's what Tommy Tuberville and his extreme views are putting our entire nation's security at risk because they don't want a woman to travel. And so my colleagues on the other side of the aisle need to understand and let him know that we need our key players in those key positions. He's a coach. He knows what that means. He's not here to defend himself, so I feel like I need to read his statement, what he told CNN when asked about his position. And I quote here, I'm talking, I'm taking all the fire from the other side, but I'm fine with it. I mean, I knew that was going to happen. I knew it was going to be tough, but I'm doing it for the right reasons. Well, he can have his own opinion. He's entitled to his own opinion. But let me tell you this. God forbid something happens because China's watching, Russia's watching, North Korea, Iran, they're watching for this chaos. They want to see that our key positions all across this country, our joint forces, every single person, over 300 of them, are being held up by their promotions. And so they're looking for any vulnerability we have to take advantage of it. So whatever he thinks his reasons are, he needs to explain that to 330 million people whose security he might be putting at risk. Senator Jackie Rosen, thank you very much for taking the time today. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me.